As we steadily approach another Monday. That's the thing I loathe, I hate, I look forward to the least. Any day of the week. Pick one, choose one. Even a Tuesday, Wednesday, hump day, that old commercial from Geico. Thursdays, what? Uh, what do they do on Taco Tuesdays? What do they do on Thursdays? Like tequila Thursdays or something? Friday is like... Unofficial law mandated as far as like the day to look forward to. Saturday, sleep in, get drunk Friday, let it hang loose and hang over Saturday. And then Sunday, repent and forgive yourself, at least in God's house and church. Just to do it all over again the following week or weekend. But then you got Monday. The speed bump, the fucking fork in the road that leads you nowhere. Either way, regardless of which path you pick, it's motherfucking Monday. That's the whole point of Monday mornings here. I'm who this, the host of Monday mornings. Thanks for tuning in this week, like you do every Monday, usually, for Monday mornings, as we mourn the fact that you can't spell mundane without Monday in it. And I'm here to bully that day, as I'm here to bully today. You know, the thing that really kind of rains, no pun intended, on the parade of festivities that usually is a Saturday, is a rainy Saturday. I'm not a fan of rain. I don't enjoy the rain or like it. I can tolerate the rain if it's a very light drizzle, like barely feel it upon you, or if you do, it kind of feels like a little soft mist, like you're taking a really lingering long shower, like you're in there for like at least 20 minutes just to kind of like de-stress yourself from the rest of the hectic ass day. I don't mind that level, but when you get like today, we're getting Saturday when I'm recording this in time for Monday, it's a really rainy day. Oddly enough, because Mother Nature loves to fuck with me, of all people, of all individuals, of all bald-headed, you know, persons. The minute I decide to step out and do the grocery shopping, go about to fucking Target and make the rounds wherever else I gotta go to as well, that's the moment right there, the rain decides to pick up, get heavier, I get drenched. Thank God I do have this one rain jacket that I never wear unless, duh, it fucking rains. I got no other occasion when to wear it. Even though it does look nice on me, I'll admit. It does, like, fit me very well. It makes me look very slender. Normally, than what I fucking would. But I wear it only, obviously, for the rain. It's perfectly made for the rain. But then, oddly enough, the rain is so heavy when I decide to step out that it comes in use. But it's got this one fucking hood over it that I cannot, for the life of me, figure out how to get the flap in the very front to cooperate with me or go back. It's not even like, um, like, you know, I got, how guys got more skins and they're uncircumcised. I am guilty, by the way. I'm not Jewish though, but whatever. Uh, obviously. But, foreskin, you can kind of flap back a turtle. Uh, let me use a cleaner, nicer example. For those of you who can't relate to foreskin or uncircumcisionness. If you got a turtleneck, you can at least kind of like flap it back and the material, if it's good enough, sturdy enough, you can kind of hold it in place. When you fold it or flap it back. This hood is big enough just for me to cover my head. But it has this flap on top of it like a duck bill almost. That goes over my head to cover my forehead. But it's either so big, the size I got. Which, oddly enough, the body fits just right. It's just the matter of the head. Like, the flap on the hood just refuses to cooperate with me. And it'll go directly over my eyes, onto my nose practically, the way it like folds forward. So I got to keep folding this thing back. I got to keep like wrapping it up like I'm wrapping or I'm tightening up a burrito as far as, you know, walking down the street. I make it half down way to block and I already got to flap it back some more. I got to fold it back some more. I'm, I'm like wrapping it and tightening the ends of like an empanada or something like that. That's how I feel like every two minutes with this fucking jacket. It protects you from the rain, the rain slicks off the jacket, no problem there. But the fact that I gotta struggle and I gotta fight and I gotta maintain my sanity on top of all that in the rain while I'm trying to fight with this flap, this fold over the hood to not block me while I'm crossing the street, God forbid, because on my way to Target, the route I take, there's another thing too on top of that. It's not bad enough that it's a rainy Saturday, you know, it's a, it's a fucking Saturday gone to shit. We lost a Saturday, it's official. There's this, uh, what do you call it? There's actually two of them. There's this Jewish, like, school, academy, preschool, I think even for, obviously for kids, Jewish kids, that's like a block down for me. 
they have this, it's a one-way street. It's, it's on a curved fucking end of the road. There's a one-way street that on the left leads to Woodhaven Boulevard. If you stay in the right lane, you go on the LIE, I believe. If you stay on the middle or left lane, you head straight towards Queens Boulevard where you go to Queens Mall. Where the school bends, there is this open road, basically a one-way road, where you can cross, but they got the permanently never-changing don't-walk signal. As a native of New Yorker, as a lot of you can relate out there, you don't respect those. You really don't keep those in mind. It's kind of non-existent, nonchalant. Like, as long as it's free and clear to cross, you walk across, no problem. I know that by now. But every time I do cross, there is someone new to the area, not familiar with the area, doesn't know about that little, I guess, life hack you can call it as far as um, that little section of the road where you don't have to pay attention. You can just cross as long as it's fucking clear because the light will never change. That's one inconvenience. And on top of that, when it's raining and I got this fucking whole, you know, flap on the hood of my rain jacket action going on, blinding me temporarily. I feel like when um they put the fucking, the, 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 the sack over Jake the Snake Roberts in that blindfolded, uh, you know, no vision match. What was it? Him and Tito Santana back when, wherever. I feel like that half the time. I feel like I'm struggling just to fucking see. I feel like Stevie Wonder trying to, uh, you know, look up Pornhub or something like that. Which, you know, he's really fooling himself. But either way, at least, you know, his hearing is like, I, I would think at least his hearing is good enough or made for porn. Especially the, the acoustics. The Kutramans, as far as him being such a talented and blessed musician, please, God, don't take him away from us. Not anytime soon. We've had enough people lost already this year and during the pandemic and such. But I'm saying Stevie Wonder definitely listens and looks out and perks his ear out for high-fidelity porn sounds. That's something for porn to consider, if anything, too. But back to the point at hand, right. There's this one street I got across like that, which has me in the panic because I'm fighting... Every two minutes, literally, with this fucking hood and the flap that covers my eyes, I got to fucking look forward. I got to look left. I got to look right where I'm going. I got to look up ahead and, and struggle at the same time. I'm, I'm multitasking. I wish I was double duty, but I'm multitasking while I'm doing this. And then you walk past that. You make it clear. You don't get hit by the car, obviously. I, I'm here with you recording this. Thank God I'm still alive, well, depending who you ask. I make it to the other end, which is, you know, th there's... The, the, what I was talking about, where it leads, if you stay to the right, you make it onto the LIE, you merge onto it, right? Just now, six months ago, I want to say, maybe a little more than that, but no more than a year ago, they finally put a crossing sign there. It was literally up for grabs, you're gambling, Russian roulette with your life, whenever you had to cross over there, depending on when you could cross. Because it was really, as long as the road is clear, cross, go ahead, take a chance. If it's not, or if it's during a fucking heavy time when traffic's really going nuts, you're waiting there at least, like, maybe three minutes. I'm not stupid. I can run. I'm still young enough to do that, strong enough to do that. But I'm, I also know not to risk my life when I don't need to unnecessarily, especially in that road, on that street. Now they got it there, too. There's a clear enough, there's, thank God they put both, a red light right there for the cars to stop when they need to stop. As you know, red means stop. And then you got the crosswalk for the pedestrians, for me in, for, in this case, to know, don't walk yet, red, or white, go ahead, white privilege, go ahead, go ahead with your life, move forward and move on up eventually. <clears throat> I do that, but then the cars don't take this red light serious. For them. And they got two. They can see the one that goes white for us when we're able to walk. And you see the red light when it means cars stop. Do not move forward. Do not advance past go. Stop right here. Out of every 10 cars, there's at least three of them that just blow right by it. If they're the ones coming up on the red light there, vroom, 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 blowing right by it. I am super cautious when it comes across the street, even though, again, I can kind of second nature by now, kind of know when to cross blindly and everything, too. Even though I had the handicap of this stupid rain jacket that won't cooperate with me, there is the fact that I have to still be meticulous and watch out because I will have the red light for the cars. I'll have the white crossing person person thing on the fucking thing for me to know, hey, you can cross now who this and I'll still double take to make sure I'm OK. Because again, boom, you get that one asshole 
And no offense, when I got a glimpse of the drivers doing that shit, they always had a long, flowing mane of hair. Now, I know guys can grow out hair. I, I, I wouldn't know anymore, honestly. You, you, if you're looking at the video, video version, you know I wouldn't know anymore about hair. But when they got the long fucking head of hair, who is it most of the time, if not almost all the time? The women driving. I'm not saying nothing about women. There's enough going on in the government now with Roe vs. Wade. If you want any more of that dilemma to add to it. But most of the time, if not all the time, like I said in past episodes on this podcast, if not off fuck it, every fucking Friday for a brand new episode. Any time in my life that I've almost been in an accident or hit by a woman driving, it's been a woman driving. So any time it's happened, I'm not saying men aren't free and clear of the same crimes that women are obviously doing because they're too busy texting or sexting or flinger, fingering clits while they're trying to figure out where they are in life before they hit a, a mid-age crisis or whatever or a menopause and shit on top of that driving. They got that going on for them too. You know, I, I could have been on the hit list of somebody eventually, but thank God I've been able to free myself of any immediate risk and or danger. But there's a lot going on. There's, it's a rainy Saturday. There's that shit. You make it fucking past those two road hazards as far as just simply crossing the streets concerned and you make it to said mall queen's mall with your life intact hopefully and you got the whole rest of the day to look forward to except it's still rained and except i still gotta struggle with this fucking hood on my head that's covering me from the rain thank goodness it's doing its job but also it's adding a handicap to me by adding this flap on the hood that covers my eyes i feel like i'm walking around the desert just blindfolded i don't know where to go basically but that's the dilemmas and what you got to go through when it's raining on Saturday. It's going to be raining Sunday, most likely, according to the forecast. And then leaning into Monday, I think it's supposed to be hopefully sunny and bright. And maybe some warm would be nice, too, as well. But at least finally, a somewhat decent Monday. Very rare in comparison to a very rainy and wet and damp weekend otherwise. I'm who this. This is Monday mornings. Listen, we do enough bitching around here about Mondays. You can't spell mundane without Monday. We know that. Monday is the big fat zit that pops up on your fucking face on top of that on a Monday most likely when it's coming up on final exams. You're about to end out the semester hopefully with a good enough GPA to make it to the next semester and or afford to have to pay on your own, your own tuition like my girlfriend does. You know, shout outs to all the fucking graduates at the very end, the very tail end of the semesters now going into the summer or extended spring break, whatever you want to call it, too. At the very tail end, you made it. You're almost there. You're inching towards the fucking finish line. But hopefully, there ain't a woman driving on the opposite end of the finish line that's going to hit your last second as soon as you fucking put one pinky toe over the finish line. Monday mornings. I'm just kidding, Yo, of course. Yo, it's over. All right? It's over. It's over. Yeah. Move the mic. Move the mic. Thank you. All right.